directly in front of me is my first trailer of the day and he is running early this morning 6 30 he was wanting to be there at 7 so guess we're gonna get in and get him loaded okay hey YouTube here Joseph Balmer here again and we're back for another day of loading scrap cars this was our second day and we talked to the truck driver and to try and get an extra load out since we only got two the first day we were going to start at seven in the morning with the first load he was running a little bit early but not a big deal because so was i and uh, we worked it out so that uh, after this except for our very last day we were getting three loads out a day so as you can tell from the title I'm going to be loading some Chevy Blazers that we turn into pancakes today. Now, that first one there is that Ford Escape that's been sitting behind the excavator all the way through day one. I decided to try and load this this uh, trailer load in a little bit different manner to see if I could stuff some more in. If you'll notice, every one of these that goes in is standing on its side up until I get to the end, and then it's just trying to pack stuff in wherever I can find the spot for it. But I got. I believe nine of them in there turn sideways. So that green blazer that is directly under, well technically it's the front of the track, but it's the the end of the track that's furthest away from the trailer. That one's gonna go in. There's a white blazer that's gonna go in. You'll be able to tell it's a blazer when I spin it around. Uh, you'll actually be able to see the tailgate on it. That green one. That one is so flat you can't tell what it is, but it didn't have an engine or a transmission in it. That one, uh, we actually sold the engine and transmission out of. The white one was a full vehicle. It had axle, engine, transmission. The only thing that we uh, scavenged off of it were the wheels and tires. Um, tires weren't worth anything, but the aluminum wheels that were on it were worth more off the vehicle than on. Um, and the rest of these, the... Cavalier and a couple other cars that I've been tracking over top of go in. Uh, there's a Jeep that I smashed down that I actually end up tracking, tracking back and forth on for a while. It'll go in a later load, but I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. And I'm going to put some music on in the meantime. But you watch actually the one I'm picking up now, I believe is actually a red Oldsmobile Bravada, so it's basically a blazer. Um, but you can see that one was flat, and that one actually did have the engine and transmission still in it. Um, that was a complete vehicle. But as you can see, it, took, it did take a little bit of work to get some of them in there sideways, but they did fit. That's three right there. So, here's some music for you. Enjoy the video, guys. Thank you for watching.
Well guys, as you can see, sometimes things don't quite always go as planned. If you notice when I went to put that little blue S10 in there, the toolbox that was in the bed kind of made it over the side as it flipped in. Uh, thankfully, though, the rest of the truck went in all right because that thing had a bed that was about, oh, there were probably over a thousand pounds of just random nuts and bolts and uh, old hardware in the bed. Um, a lot of times around the shop, if we have uh, nuts and bolts that we replace on, a, uh, say, a new part comes with new hardware, we'll save the old stuff just in case we need it, especially for, you know, kind of specialty hardware. But after a while, we end up with so much of it that doesn't get reused that we'll just go through and put it in one of the scrap vehicles. And when it goes for scrap, it goes for scrap. Um, because I think right now we actually have, oh, three containers that are roughly the size of milk crates full of hardware. So, uh, but yeah, we, as you notice, we, most of these were already smashed from the night before. Um, and for some reason, I don't think I got any video actually smashing them. The one that I'm messing with now, I believe, yep, I actually folded that one in half. I couldn't tell you what it is though. Um, but it was wadded up pretty good. So, guys, I really hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, and there wasn't a whole lot of carnage in this one. I managed to just wad a lot of these up and stick them in the truck. But uh, don't worry, there are some there are some really good ones coming. Anyway, do me a favor if you're enjoying them. Give me a like click that thumbs up button for me and please if you haven't already um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel let me know you're out there don't be afraid to drop a comment in the comment section uh, if you have any questions go ahead and ask I try and respond to as many of the comments as I can and uh, do me a favor guys if you get the opportunity share this with some of your friends um, and yeah, I did, I did get a little bit chastised for this one because you can see where the uh, excavator arm is right now. That part of the car was sticking up a little high and I couldn't quite get it down low enough. I didn't realize it was too high, but apparently it was hanging up on top of his... Uh, it was high enough that he, the driver could have gotten in trouble for a uh, the load being too tall. So, thankfully he didn't. Everything was good. And I have to hand it to our driver. Um, his name was Samir. He is an awesome driver. I mean, he's he was back in that trailer down the road that it would be tough to back a pickup truck and trailer down, and he was managing to get that 53 foot scrap trailer with a uh, sleeper tractor down the road. And you know, I got to hand it to him. He did a great job. He was very patient with us while we got him loaded. Didn't complain about anything. So anyway, guys, like I said. I hope you like the video don't be afraid to put comments down in the comment section let me know what you think and guys don't forget don't be afraid to get out there and get your hands dirty because you might just have fun doing it